Hi, I'm Emma, and I'm guessing you're here because, like me, something bad happened to your Roman blind. When the cord's broken, it's a fairly straightforward thing to fix. It's worth repairing because without it, it could be curtains for you. Sorry, I couldn't resist it. Today, I'm going to show you how to restring a Roman blind. I love sewing and making my own curtains and blinds, so keep watching and I'll show you how. I've listed the things you'll need for this job in the description below. You're going to need a tape measure, a pencil and paper, some non-stretch blind cord made of nylon, some scissors and possibly a stepladder depending on the height of your window. To calculate how much blind cord you'll need, you need to take some measurements. The drop, the top of the blind to the bottom, and the width from the left-hand edge to the right, and note them down. In my case, the drop was 117 centimetres. I doubled it, which gives 234 centimetres. Then my width is 87 centimetres. I added the doubled figure. The total is 321 centimetres. A Roman blind has vertical lines of rings and I'll need 321 centimetres for each line. I've got three lines, that's 963 centimetres. I rounded up to the nearest metre to 10 metres. Sounds a lot, doesn't it? I've chosen a three millimetre diameter cord in the same colour as the blind lining. And it, the blind's fairly heavy, so I wanted to make sure the cord was strong enough for the job. First, I'm going to take down my blind, hold the toggle on the pull cord and cut here above the knot. Then pull the blind off the Velcro. Makes this brilliant ripping sound. Then lay the blind on a clean table with the wrong side facing upwards. At the bottom of each row, you'll find these quick release toggles and you just press them and pull them off the blind cord. and then pull the cords out of each row and put them all to one side out of the way so they don't get muddled with your new blind cord. Now I'm going to cut the three lengths of cord for my blind. The way I've measured for the cord has allowed enough to go up each vertical line and across the top and then drop down at the side for the pull cord. So that allows two drops and one width. So I'll cut here and then repeat the same for the other two rows. And I've got my pull cord on the right hand side when it's hung up. But obviously, if your pull cord's on the left, then, um, then reverse the following instructions after this. A little tip to help thread the cord, I've wrapped a, a tiny bit of washi tape, about a centimetre, around the end of it to make it firm. Um, and you could use a decorator's low, as long as it's got low adhesive, low tack on it. Just wrap a tiny bit around the end and then thread the cord through a quick, the, one of the quick release toggles. Um, 
and just give it a pull to make sure it's caught properly. There are legal requirements to help reduce the risk of strangulation accidents and I've added a link in the description below so please have a look at this and of course it's probably different in each country so double check the regulations in your country. So now the toggle's on we're going to thread the cords onto the blind, starting at the bottom, threading it through the rear cord breakaway device. And then I'm going to carry it on, going vertically through all the hoops, all the rings, I get to the top of the blind and I'm going to peg it temporarily just to hold it to stop it slipping back through and then you can repeat the same thing with the other rows because the next job is we're going to fix the blind and we're going to hang it back up. Because it's hard to film outside a window and I want to reassure you that no cameraman has been injured during the making of this film. I've rigged up a wooden batten with screw eyes so that I can show you really clearly what the next stage involves. So the first thing is to put the blind back up onto the Velcro and press it really firmly. Now I'm going to thread the cord through the screw eyes and I'm starting with the left, which it would be if I were standing on the other side of the blind, and threading all the way through to the right. And there's a spare screw eye at the end where you pull all the cords through to make your pull. And then just keep going with each row. You go directly above your row of rings to the screw eye directly above and then thread all the ones to its right if I were on the other side of the blind. Oh, I can take those off now. Oops. Okay, now we're going to tension the blind, which sounds a bit more complicated than it is. What you do is just pull each cord gently, but individually, and it, we just want to make sure the tension's even on each cord. So just pull them and you'll see the tension taking. It's a bit of a Goldilocks situation where it's got to be just right. You don't want it too tight or too loose. Um, too tight and it'll be pulling at the seam here and too loose and one of them won't be taking the right amount of weight. So just fiddle around till you feel as if they're all the same tightness. And then when you're happy with that, go to the top and tie a knot about two and a half centimetres from the last screw eye to tie all your cords together. And that's creating the top of your pull cord. There. So here we are back at the window and I've pulled the pull cord through from the back side of the blind out here and I'm going to plait below the knot that we've just made.
then thread the plait through the pull and before you tie a knot we just want to test where this falls when you've got the blind fully up so that it doesn't knock on the window ledge. So I'm going to put a clip underneath it just to stop it sliding down and then pull the blind up to test. Oops. Wrap it round the cleat as much as you normally would and then let it hang down and make sure it's just above the window ledge. So I'll pull that back and knot it here. To make sure the cleat doesn't fall off, the, the um, pull doesn't fall off. There we are. And you can cut the end like that. Now, take a moment to relish the feeling of achievement. You've just mended your own blind for about the cost of a takeaway coffee. It's great, isn't it? I hope you've enjoyed watching how to restring a Roman blind. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'd love you to come back and see what I do next time.